Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Space Marines Fire Raptor gunship from Forgeworld. It's right here in this box. It's a nice, nice box. Uh, it says 15 plus expert product. Let's hope it is an expert product. Uh, there are two kind of medium sized uh, flyers, I want to say for Space Marines. That is this Fire Raptor and also the Storm Eagle, both of which have been well documented as being uh, you know, a couple of the hardest uh, miniatures that Forge World uh, create. Not because of the number of parts or the size of the model or the time it takes. It's mainly because they're a hybrid kit. You've got the plastic uh, components of the Storm Raven in this uh, mixed with um, a load of Forge World resin parts. And um, yeah, you have to kind of really take your time to match them up and uh, you know, get rid of the gaps and to heat treat some of the parts as well. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a, a, an excellent journey. I'm looking forward to bringing you this. I've wanted one of these for quite some time. Uh, my first choice was a Storm Eagle, but they always seem to be out of stock at Forge World. Hopefully um, that will change in the near future. But anyway, one of these will cost you £116, which is £6 more than a uh, Storm Eagle. Um, my main goal is to have two of these and three Storm Eagles um, uh, eventually in, in the whole collection. But I've gone on for quite some time. Let's unbox uh, this. So yeah, it comes in a very nice white box. Um, I can't remember the last time I've seen one of these size boxes. Uh, oh wow, you're actually getting a tray too. This is fantastic. Oh wow, it's a new kit because it's got the new um, bags and things. This will be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'll be uh, building one of these uh, in the live stream um, at some point. So you've got the flying uh, stand there and you've got the um, uh, clear cockpit uh, windows. You've got uh, the stand, which is a very small stand for such a large flyer or medium flyer. Um, you've got some of the plastic components here from the kit. From the Storm Raven kit, which came out in uh, 2010, can you believe it? 11 years now, everyone, uh, that this as uh, this kit has been out. I haven't built one of these for yeah a number of years, good number of years. Um, so that's great. Uh, you've got this sprue as well with the doors and uh, the inside, and you've got some plasma cannons I think, um, or plasma guns even. Uh, you've got some assault cannons, last cannons, um, you've got all of the uh, hurricane bolters, you've got the missiles, you've got the uh, crew um, and the tail. I mean yeah it's going to share quite a number of these these parts um, in this kit. Uh, you've got the instruction guides, we might as well just go through them. Uh, this says um, 2013 so I think this far up came out in 2013 but yeah you've got all the uh, components that you'll need the plastic components uh, are required um, and then they are the f uh, resin components too then this is the instruction guide yeah this is going to be tricky uh, it really is to get the fuselage correct um, I think it looks so much better than a storm raven though oh that's cool look you've got an internal wall so the, the ship is kind of split into two. Um, there you've got the different fins and the wings. It's going to be a chunky one when it's finished. You've got the landing gear. I haven't decided whether I have the landing gear up. I think I might have the landing gear up for both of the Fire Raptors and have it flying about on the stand. But for the um, Storm Eagle, I'll probably have them both down um, because I want to have this maybe at an angle um, doing a bombing run with the the auto cannons, all the heavy bolters. Haven't quite make, made my mind up which uh, which I'll be equipping for the first one. I guess you could probably magnetize it a bit. The ball sockets look very similar to the um, Stormbird ones. And then uh, these are the resin parts. Oh wow! Get a bit of hobby. Get some bracing there. Some hobby expert uh, corrugated cardboard. Uh, and some industrial lousy bands. Fantastic. So I guess this is to keep this straight. 
in transit, um, but at the same time, look at how bent that is. I mean, that is, that is very bent. <laughs> let's, let's take this off. Um, this, maybe they need something stronger than just cardboard because look at that. That's, that's never gonna work, is it? You know, that is, we're gonna have to really, really heat treat that. Um, it's quite flimsy on the sides. I think the other one's all right. He says, that is wibbly wobbly. Look at that. That is gonna need a lot of heat treatment. This one particular though, really odd, isn't it? Um, that they can't get these completely flat. I guess they are thin pieces of resin, but um, this is gonna be the trickiest part of the whole kit. Um, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. So they're the two sort of side parts of the, of the ship. Oh, let's have a look at when it was made. Only, wow, I'm recording this beginning of September, so only a few weeks ago. So this is a relatively new one, uh, brand new this year. You can tell 2021 with the, uh, the new bags. So let's, uh, speaking of which, this is a nice funky bag. I'm not a big fan of these bags because the holes are at the bottom and uh, I, I think the hole should be at the top. Um, it does suck because you put any small like plastic parts in and they, they just fall straight through because there's four holes in total at the bottom. But yeah, so they, they fail in terms of have it being a, a suitable uh, bits bag uh, for small pieces. So these are your Space Marine uh, gunners. Yep, they spared no expense. They didn't put any um, servitors in the gunners or anything. It's actually Space Marines. That's why you're getting your Ballistic Skill 3 as well. So they put full Space Marines in this um, Fire Raptor. They're both exactly the same, no differences there. Uh, you've got these chunky bits. Okay, they look all right. Um, oh, wow, what have we got here? So you've got these, I think the part of the thrusters, I'd like to say. Nice bit of cabling around there and rivets. You've got this, which is definitely the underside of the fuselage. And this is the top. It's a fair bit of detail, I like the lighting on there. And the, um, yeah, attention to detail, it's quite nice. And then you've got this, which is the under undercarriage. These are the ammunition feeds for the uh, bolt cannon, Avenger bolt cannon. They look just like, uh, well, they look very similar to the um, Takaran uh, ammunition feeds as well. But uh, yeah, nice bit of grating all, all along there. And then that's where you put the uh, flight stand in. Might have to drill all the way through that um, so that it, it fits, because otherwise you're gonna have to um, glue it on there. And I don't really fancy gluing it on. I'd rather be able to pop it off, on and off. You've got a couple more bags. It's nice that they give you this uh, sort of insert tray thing from another box, um, just so that you, you know, can keep everything nice and, and tidy. So, uh, the other bits and pieces in here then. So we've got this bag. Uh, let's have a look in here. Uh, we've got the, I think one of the top hatches or something like that. Uh, I think this is one of the top top parts to it. Uh, you've got the uh, heavy bolters. Yeah, you've got two quad heavy bolters. So yes, that is 24 shots in total. This thing is like a AC-130 or something. It's, it's fantastic. Again, I haven't quite decided what to go for, the heavy bolters or the, uh, the auto cannons. Um, yep, <laughs> uh, yep, I, I like both. Um, I think I might go for uh, the auto cannons to start off with and go for full anti-armor. Typically when I buy models, I go for the anti-armor variant first because, well, hey, there's a lot of space marines out there. Um, the Avenger Bolt Cannons, again, the rules are really odd for this. It's only a heavy 12. Uh, personally, because there's two, I think it should be heavy 24, <laughs> but that's just me. Because it's got two barrels and the uh, Castigator's uh, Bolt Cannon has the same number of shots. So it's really quite odd for me. 
um, to have you know two sets of barrels should I say because there's loads of barrels each um, but there we go uh, and the number of, of being 12 as well is really odd because it's only got five on each so you'd think that that's 10 Ah uh, well, it's, it's strange times, strange times. Uh, speaking of the auto cannons, here they are. They're not as long as I expected them to be. They've got this nice recoil compensator and uh, a different um, barrel end. Uh, maybe it's flared or something, I don't know, but really, really quite cool uh, looking auto cannons. Um, yeah, I probably might pick with the auto cannons for this, this time. Uh, you've got these front armor viewports uh, for the, the gun. Uh, modules, bigger uh, cylindrical turrets. Uh, you've got these uh, thrusters, I think they are, and then you've got some piping. You've got a load of arms for the Space Marines in there for the um, gunners. Uh, you've got this armor piece, I think that goes over the front of the uh, cannons. And then you've got these fins, maybe they're uh, aerofoils, I'm not quite sure. You've got these intakes. Uh, you've got the landing feet. That's quite cool. Uh, then you've got this great thing. I'm not quite sure what that is, but they're the, the landing feet. And then finally, you've got this uh, big bag as well. See what I mean? It's quite a quite a big kit. Um, I use my 30, 35 pounds uh, voucher that I got from Forge World uh, in the recent promotion to get some money off this so um, I was lucky that this uh, only set me back 81 pounds I think 80 pound for this is just fantastic um, in the grand scheme of things hopefully I can use uh, some more vouchers and things hopefully I can uh, get some money off of uh, Storm Eagle at some point and um, then we've got the inside of these uh, you know gun turrets um, Lots of nice buttons and screens and things on there, and they've even done it here. So yeah, the, the you know it's a shame with these. Uh, look, and and then they've uh, got a different um, set of detail in in the other side of the the uh, balls, the firing balls I want to call them. Um, and then you've got these. So yeah, it's a shame that there's so much detail within the firing um, uh, turrets of this uh, of this one and the Stormbird actually because. I think a lot of people will just probably glue them all shut and then you'll miss out on the Space Marine and, and all those things and I just wonder where and I just wonder whether it would have been a better option to have them just closed with no detail in um, but you know because they're quite tricky to magnetize and things uh, you've got this which I think goes underneath um, I think that's part of the landing gear uh, you've got this I think this is the dividing wall and you've got these, again, part of the wings. Maybe they've got supports for the uh, missiles or something, which I have not seen at all. Um, so that's odd. Uh, you've got this. Um, I think this is where the landing gear will go. Uh, I think that might be the bottom. And um, you've got these as well. They're quite nice. That gives it that unique looking shape. You've got this really long doorway. I think this might be the back, but it's really, really, it's a bit bent, but that's that's fine. Um, and you've got this, must be the inside. One of these, which I think is the tail and another landing gear uh, strut as well. So yeah, just going back, um, looking at the uh, parts, I can't see any uh, missiles and things. Um, so I do, I do wonder because I'm wondering whether the, where these go go now because um, quite clearly uh, you've got on the wings um, these look this 26 which which I don't know about you but I didn't see any. Kind of sharp missile looking things this 24 26 all right 
Yeah, and if you're wondering where like the missiles and things um, come from, they're from the plastic kit. All right, so don't be looking for, you know, you can tell by the, the coloring, but as you can see, look at that. It's gonna be very complex. Um, you've got the, the long resin pieces, which are, you know, wibbly wobbly, uh, <laughs> which is gonna need a fair bit of heat treatment and to get right. Probably, yeah, it's gonna be the trickiest part of the whole thing, getting both of those correct. Um, and then this this rear assembly, and then again connecting it to plastic. So this is where the difficulty comes: the resin next to the plastic, next to the resin, the resin on the plastic, um, and then the resin on the plastic on the sides as well. This is why it's a tricky kit. Um, yeah, I would have loved it to have all been uh, resin, but it probably would be a fair bit heavier um, if that would have been the case. Um, and they're making use of the Storm Raven, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with this. Join me in the live stream um, when I will uh, uh, build this live. And um, hopefully there'll be some nice tips and tricks that you'll, you'll gain from it. And um, you won't uh, have half as many problems as I think I may well have with these. Um, what do you guys think of the uh, Fire Raptor uh, gunship? Please do put your thoughts and opinions is it your favourite flyer in this Space Marine arsenal um, or is it still the Thunderhawk? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.